start early. Just be always saving for something because you never know what might actually happen to you on any given day and it's really good to have a safety net even if it's not uh, for a particular goal. But also um, just set a goal because it's lovely to have things to look forward to. Uh, I think it's always good to have a goal, um, something that you want to say to, whether it's tattoos or a trip, um, or even land or a mortgage or anything like that. Um, I think that's the way people get into safety first. Uh, how I, I sort of wanted a piece of land um, originally, and that's how I got into savings, and then I sort of just carried on from there. It sounds like a little bit cliched, but often a rip, like tons of things will happen at once. Like we moved house and I needed glasses and a whole lot of other things happened and we'd just come back from a trip, which we'd saved for. Um, and all of a sudden our credit card bill was really, really horrible and ridiculous. And so we sort of set ourselves quite a strict budget for the week and um, tried to just focus on where every single dollar was going, which was not fun, I won't lie, but we didn't get there. something that you know that um, you're going to get a lot of use out of that's really going to bring you a lot of happiness or a lot of, it could be anything, it could be like a lot of security in your life or make your life a lot easier, then maybe it's okay to spend that, you know, that amount of money right now and maybe be paying things back for a few months and, you know, living really cheaply rather than denying yourself everything just for the sake of savings. And that's why I don't have a credit card anymore. So I did get into not a massive amount of debt because I've always been quite sensible but a little bit more than I was comfortable with and debit cards are just the best things because that way, you know, if I've got the money in the account that I, then I will buy it. We don't really think all that much about future goals when it comes to savings, it's more short term future goals like the tattoo that I want to get in a couple of months or the trip that I want to take next year or potentially moving overseas. If it's too far away, it's just not tangible and yeah. you can't afford. I certainly worry about having enough money to buy a house. Um, I think now that actually ever since um, Sarah Rose bought a place, uh, it's suddenly like, oh, that's, that's not so far away. I always thought that was kind of for other people yeah. in the future, but actually um, it suddenly put it on my radar as something that I might like to do, especially because I love the place that I'm in. Yeah, that, that was always and something some other people do for me as well, yeah. buying a house, until I knew somebody who bought an apartment. I was like, oh, yeah, an apartment. That's smaller than a house. Yeah. <laughs>